Welcome to the second stop on the Bullet GC32 Racing Tour of 2015 and to the Isle of Wight in southern England. The crews were ready for some tactical racing. With strong tidal flows in the Solent, any local knowledge would be a huge advantage. Yeah, for sure the, the current is, is very strong here in the Solent, so it's, it's one of the parameters you have to, to uh, count uh, when you make a decision, a tactical decision, especially on the ley lines. Yeah, it does, doesn't really matter if you foil or not, the current is still there and just pushing you uh, away from the mark uh, or, to, or to the marks. Um, so it doesn't really matter if you fall or not. For newcomers, Team Argo 32, the prospect of light conditions was even more daunting. With cows being the first regatta for the crew, they were still trying to adapt to the GC32. Um, our experience level is so-so in uh, catamaran sailing. We have done a lot together in a mono hull, um, but this is kind of our first experience with catamaran racing. Four other boats in cows this week had all been at the inaugural Austria Cup. They fought neck and neck out on the Solent on a day that proved very influential on the overall leaderboard. Overnight leader Zalingi slipped down to fourth with the other three teams sharing the bullets. Sultanate of Oman moved from joint third up to the top spot after an outstanding day's sailing. They finished in the first two in all six races. Fighting right to the end on the final reach of the day, the Amani team managed to overhaul Armin Strom to take the race and lead the Swiss team by just one point heading into the final day of racing. Yeah, we, um, we had an interesting day. I think we just improved slowly throughout the day and um, just kept our call and uh, managed to jump on the opportunities when we could and we, we thought that with the wind shifting that far left on the, on the last beat that there was an opportunity to deploy the spinnaker on the run and we did and we managed to hit them at the finish line. So there's just one more day of inshore sailing to come to decide who will be the winner of the Bullet Cows Cup. Then on Saturday, the fleet take part in the famous round the island race. So still plenty of action to come.